Hey folks, it's Frith Guy here, how you doing? I'm racing along with one of the crazy 88s and we're rushing up the side of the gorge here. We have almost done two complete rounds of everything on the map now. We've almost done it now, so let me just go to the growth stage. Um, we've got that bit there that was going a little bit weird because of that area there that's not being recognized as a field But just about everything else has got two rounds Obviously, we're leaving this area down here because it keeps crashing the map when we try to play down there So we're just going to ignore that the rest of it does seem to be working at the moment at least So this one here I'm gonna let this one keep going until we've sort of traveled the way around here And we've got like a double layer at uh, the rest of these combines, I'm hoping to put quite a few of them going today, and we're just going to work in straight lines. And, oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Look at that. Combine right, the, the header right up in the air. That is absolutely brilliant. I love that. <laughs> okay. Um, I asked you a question last week. I'll tell you what, I'm going to start setting up some of these combines while I talk. I asked you a question last week. Did you want me to go to Broadacres earlier than originally planned and not go and spend a couple of weeks on the new map that's coming out for the Unrealistic series. Um, you know, maybe we'll go and do an episode in there, but we can look at the machinery and we should be able to have sugarcane on the Australia map anyway. And, right, that's what I asked you in the video. But then, outside of the video, I had to turn around and say, well, actually... Uh, there's been an issue with Broadacres. The map was pinched from the um, page and it was released without the permission of the creator uh, or anybody on the team that helped to do the map um, and it was put on a whole load of other websites. So they pulled the map. They said that we're not going to offer support for it because um, of this unsavory element of the community who are basically trying to profit from their hard work. Now, I've heard the arguments that, well, you know, once a mod is released, you kind of got to expect that. Um, well, yes, we do expect it, but it's not something that anybody likes. And I would just like to point out that it's known as plagiarism, and if you do that in any other professional context, if you do that in any professional context, if you take someone else's work and you pass it off as your own in order to profit from it, it's illegal. People lose their jobs. People even go to prison for stuff like that. So if it's not acceptable anywhere in the professional world, then I can't see that it could be acceptable in Farming Simulator either. I know that it's released to the community, but passing it off as your own and uploading it to other sites so you get paid for the downloads on the other sites, I don't think that's acceptable. And if it was in any other context, if it was any other industry or anything like that, you could end up being taken to court for it. So, yeah, I'm, as far as I'm concerned, that was unacceptable behavior, and I disagree quite strongly with the people who say, oh, well, you know, you need to expect that, and it's it's free to the community so people can do what they like. Um, anyway, that argument can just go round and round in circles for eight. Now, what Ben decided to do, ultimately, was release the map to every single website that he could get his hands on. And so that is what he has done. He has released the map, and he's sort of beaten these guys at their own game. He has pushed it out to absolutely everybody that will take the map, and we now have Broadacres available to play. The um, the main web page, uh, the Facebook page is still there. Um, if you have technical issues that you want to discuss, you need to take those to GitHub. Um, but generally speaking, um, there are now uploads everywhere. Mod Hoster and FSUK, I still think, are waiting on approval. I don't know if they've been um, approved yet, but if they haven't, they will be, and they will. it will be on those websites, which is absolutely brilliant. And I will include a few links when I have them available so that you've got different places that you can go and download it from, depending on what you want to do. Um, now, because the map was pulled after I recorded the episodes last week... Uh, I was I, I changed the question I said you know it's been cancelled do you want us to go to a different map and I had a few suggestions from people for different maps that we could play and that was absolutely brilliant really thank you very much for all of the suggestions that people came up with for different things that we could go and do um, there's a couple of 16 times maps and there were some smaller ones as well and the suggestions were absolutely great they were absolutely fantastic so it was sort of a way that we could go and do something and continue on um, I decided to just sort of wait and see what would happen and ultimately Ben has now decided that he's going to have this map released 
so everybody can take part in it and can use it and can have fun with it it's going to be absolutely brilliant so we are going to go to broad Acres, um and we're going to go soon so i did say for the first two questions for the week um i gave an option of abstain from the vote completely if you wanted to so i had 225 people abstain from the vote uh, we had 2,138 people vote in total, which is a huge number of people that have decided to take part in this. Um, so yeah, 2,138. We had 225 abstained from the vote because the first two days I gave that as an option because we may be moving to a different one in this map. 236 people said, no, don't go yet. Stick with your original time frame. And 1,677 people want me to move on to a new map whether it's this uh, broad acres or a different one now fortunately it is going to be broad acres we've got broad acres back it's available to play so we are going to be going to broad acres and i'm hoping to finish up this week now a lot of people said that they don't want me to leave until we finish here Oop, no i don't want to do that i want to go control h and i want to go normal now and then i want to press h a lot of people want me to finish this you I said, did you want me to finish this on screen, or did you want me to finish up this harvest and get on with something else um, as quickly as possible? And most people said, please finish this on screen. We want to see this harvest. We've worked, uh, it's been building up to this for absolutely ages, and we've now reached the point where we can, like, do this harvest. And this is kind of the big moment for what we've got going here. What's happened here? Is he, oh, I see, he stopped, and... That one over there is going insanely fast, so it's um, catching up with it. Right, so we got one working up and down here, so we can have another one working there. I'm going to have that one, and that one's going to start working this area here. I don't have anything in there at the moment. I've got one combine over here that is not currently doing anything, so we'll start that one up a moment, and we can see where we put the others in just a sec. Um, so, yeah. A lot of people said that they want to see me do this so i'm going to try to get this finished as quickly as possible and we're going to use like the big headers but we're going to stick with our crazy 88 and i'm going to harvest it and then we're going to spend a day messing around with balers and um sort of try to bail the whole map now i'm not going to make a mob that is wide enough to cover the entire map purely because i don't think that's going to work very why does it keep changing direction here i want it to go straight up that way there we go that's better i think going straight yes it's going straight it's very difficult to get this thing lined up it's, it's very it's very unwieldy that huge great big header but it does work it's working it's perfect it's fine we're quite happy with that um so if we get a load of the crazy 88 working we should be able to i hope um finish most of this harvest in next to no time and have i i don't have crop destruction on this map so I'm going to run this one up over here. We're going to start this one running on this side here. We should be able to get, ultimately, 10 combines running, I think. And if we've got 10 combines running, it's not going to take us very long. I know that I've got a couple of small combines working in the southern fields. But these here with the huge headers, this is going to take no time at all to get through these. And then once we've done this, then we're going to play around with the balers and the most people seem to want the heston baler so i'm gonna see what i can do with the heston baler see if i can um give it a few tweaks in my customary style and we'll see if we can do something interesting with that on the map now i don't actually know at the moment how well it's going to work um and how many bales we're going to get that sort of thing i think it's going to be quite interesting seeing what we can come up with on it right that's um not going straight is it why does it keep doing that if I spin round in a circle like this, it'll spread that grain out a little bit. I don't know why it keeps doing that. It keeps kind of pulling over to one side. I'm pretty sure I've got it lined up fairly straight. And then it heads off in a completely different direction. So let me try pointing it that way and see what it does there. It's not going to work, is it? Um, try again. And it's... Is that straight or not? I don't think that's straight. Oh, that is straight. Ah, I see. I had it pointed in completely the wrong direction. Right, if that one runs up through there, it should then be able to turn around and run straight lines up and down the side of the map without any problem. 
Fortunately, this is quite a short wheelbase combine and it's quite narrow as well, which means that it is able to back itself up over its own straw piles. If the combine was much bigger, it would get stuck on them, which we noticed from the New Holland combines last week. That was an issue that they were encountering, was that they were getting stuck on their own pile of straw and could go no further, which I thought was absolutely brilliant. That was absolutely hilarious as far as I'm concerned. Um, yeah, once we've done the bailing and that on this map, we're going to move to Broadacres. Now, we haven't done everything that I did say that I was going to do with the cows. We'll, we'll, move, we'll do that on another map, okay? Because the, the unrealistic series is here to stay. A few people don't like it, but the majority of people do like this as a bit of variation on normal gameplay. You know, everyone is sort of so focused on realism and getting everything as realistic as possible all the time and that's great and everything but sometimes you just want to kick back and have fun so i'm not getting rid of this series i've had a lot of positive response from this series we're going to keep just playing around with whatever we can accomplish with the game that's what this is all about doing what we can with the game and not worrying of anything at all about realism realism has got no part in this series whatsoever we're not even close to it so as we're staying on it, we will get 10,000 cows on another map. Uh, the first animal that we're going to be worrying about over in Australia, though, is going to be pigs and not cows. Um, right, if we've got this one here, apparently I can just use the hired help with the combine folded up. So we should be able to teleport this one without encountering any problems. Right, that combine up there has stopped. This one has done a fantastic job and has gone all the way... North, uh, south to north and is now heading back again. I don't think it's going to do too many more passes, but we've also got one elsewhere somewhere. Right, that one's working there. And no, it's not that one. It's this combine up here that I want to get hold of. Enter. Right. What that one's done is it's done a little bit. This is the area here. This is the non- the non-field part. So if I manually do this a moment, because this bit does irritate, it irritates other people just as much as it irritates me. The fact that you have this this kind of big area that gets left. Um, some of you are quite strong OCD sufferers, and the fact that I sometimes leave little bits behind is very frustrating to you. And I can understand that. I know people with OCD in real life, and it, it, it can be almost physically painful to see things like that. Like those two little tiny bits that I just left behind me. Um, unfortunately, I will probably just leave those, but the, the bigger patches I definitely do like to pick up. Um, I kind of like to do it when I'm playing the games anyway. I like to make sure that I get just about everything. But, I mean, I, I always end up leaving some behind. Whoop. <laughs> I love these combines. These combines are so much fun. They really are. Um, yeah, so I, I do sometimes leave little bits behind, but um, I, I do prefer myself to try to gather everything, if, if at all possible. Um, right, so we're going to hopefully finish this combining today and tomorrow, and maybe we're going to have to go on to next week, but I'm kind of hoping not. I'd kind of like to get as much finished as possible. We're going we're gonna to at least do the bulk of the harvest, because I figure this episode and the next one of combining, and then one more episode after this... Uh, to do the bailing or to cover most of what we want to do it, it should cover most of what we want to accomplish on this map and then the stuff with the cows with the, the 10,000 cows or even more than that we can sort of worry about later on um, it's not easy to buy 10,000 cows because you, you wear out your mouse wheel because you, you have to do it really really fast and it takes a while to sort of, I mean it's nice that you can use the mouse wheel to scroll through and buy um, several at once but at the same time it still takes quite a while. It's not as bad as it used to be, where you had to click individual, um, but it does still take quite a while to accomplish. So I'm hoping that, you know, in the future, Farming Simulator will give you the option to be able to buy 100 of an animal all at once, and that would just be so much easier. It would be just so, so much easier. Um, whether we do 10,000 cows on the Australian map, I don't really know. We may go and do that on another one. I'm not always going to do big maps for the Unrealistic series either. Um, we're doing a 16 times map next for um, this series. We're going to Australia and we're going to spend several weeks there. <laughs> that was brilliant. Did you see that? Um, so, yeah, we're going to spend several weeks there in Australia and playing around there and doing all kinds of things. Go on, go through, go through. Yep, excellent just right that one can start up and it's straight excellent let's see what that other combine is going to do 
Actually, that one looks like he's turning okay. This is the one here. He just sort of stuck in his own heap of straw there, but he is doing all right. He's going to turn around there and head back to... Oh! How did he cope with getting past the cattle field? Oh, he's just turned down there, didn't he? I bet that's what he's done. Yes, he's just turned here, so we've got that strip there that we uh, need to deal with. Um, that one's working. This one over here enter has stopped for some strange reason. I thought I put that one going. I did. I did actually put that one going. It's just decided to stop. So what we'll do with this one is we set it over here so that each row gets progressively bigger. It tends to work better for the combines if you do it that way rather than the other way. Um, I set that one up sort of there. That seems to be about right. Let the multi-angle terrain take over from now. Right, we can leave that one to go. This one here is doing just fine. This is on the really big field. We'll probably bring a big header combine in there later on. And we've got the small ones going there. So what have we got, guys? Everything going okay now on this map. Well, there's one combine still not running. We've got this one running up and down on this end. Then we've got... This combine is not actually running at the moment. This one here is working on this bit. We've got a combine working there. We've got one moving up and down there. And we've got one moving up and down here. I wonder if those are going to sort of come to grief and sort of come into contact with each other. They might do. Like these two here, they're racing towards each other. You've got that sort of, that look of impending doom as they race frantically towards each other. I'm going to take this combine here and I'm going to jump it over to that side of the gorge just to test if we can uh, actually do that. So we want to go 9 and then we press F11 and we teleport it over here. So it folds up and that's the key to it. It folds up, and you can't unfold it if you've got the if you've got grain in the tank. It won't let you fold or unfold if you've got grain in the tank. But I have been told that I don't need to worry about that. There is actually the the hired help will actually um, unfold the grain tank if you press H and start the combine running, and it doesn't need you to do it for it. Some machines it does actually need you to do it for it, but uh, this one it doesn't. So we'll see a moment if this is actually true, if it's going to work. I mean, I hope it is. I hope it works. So let me go. I think that's kind of straight. Is that straight? I haven't got any straight lines to sort of uh, line me up with. Let's try that. No, I don't want vehicle extension. I want to take it off a vehicle extension like that. And I want to start. We'll soon see if it's straight because it does straight lines on the straw. And that's not straight. That's not even close to straight. Okay. I'll keep it moving so that um, it spreads the straw out a little bit. And we'll try that one more time. And I think I need to kind of go in that direction. Let's try that. Uh, that's not going to work at all. And move on a little bit. There we go. Right, and it did unfold the combine as well. That's absolutely fantastic. And is that a straight line? Yes, that is a straight line right down through there. So that's what we want. That one will keep running. It's going to leave that little strip there, but that's okay. And it's going to start working its way across the field over that way. So we've got that one working, that one working. Uh, these two bumped into each other, which was kind of inev inevitable, I guess. So what I'm going to do is I will take this one here, start this bad boy up, and I'm going to move it. Now, where did I want to move it to? This is the next question. I want to bring it, yes, I want to come straight down here and actually I want to go towards the road over here and we're going to use that road as kind of the marker to start things off and it will start running that way. So there's the road there, I can now see it and we'll start from that point and start running across the map from there to there and go from the road and hopefully that's not going to interfere with the combine that's doing the run, the long runs across the top of the map. This one's got 1.3 million litres of barley in it. Um, still not even close to being full. 150... Oh, we're on kilometres an hour here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. We're on kilometres and... Um, uh, kilometres and euros at the moment. I'm still... It's still left over from Gerala. Uh, pounds... Not pounds. No, we don't want that either. We want dollars and miles for this one. So we go back through there and... There we go. Right. 93 miles an hour is top speed on this combine. I will... Oh, a question, weekly question. I'm not actually asking a weekly question this week because um, I want to get to Australia and sort of see what it's going to be like and how things are going to work out for us there uh, before I ask any more questions. And so I'll probably ask you a question next week 
depending if we actually get to Australia next week or if it's going to be the week after. I'm hoping that we move next week. I think next week would be best. Then as far as sugarcane and all the new stuff, we will do that. Um, but I will probably do my first look at the map. Kind of unrealistic anyway for the other end of the week. So we're not going to need to spend two weeks um, playing around with it on there. We can do sugarcane in Australia. Either it's got to be added to the map. And if it does, it will be out in the next update that um, Ben and his team do for um, Broadacres. If it doesn't need to be specifically added to the map, if it just gets added in by default with the addition of the Platinum Edition um, DLC, well, then we will do sugarcane um, and sort of have a play around. I've got all kinds of ideas from people about different things that we could do while we're there in Australia with, um, oh, what do you call them? Uh, with small machines, with small machines and stuff like that. Now, we've got like this Dominator is absolutely going crazy, but what I was also thinking is that when we get there, what we could do is, right, which way are you going to go? Please go the right way. I want you to go to that side over there. Not this side up here, that side down there. Go on, go on, turn the right way, turn the right way. No, <laughs> wrong way. Right, okay, bring it up. Bring it back, bring it back. Round you come. I'll do this myself. If you want something done, you've got to do it yourself. Every single time. Right, bring that one in there. And is that lined up straight? I really don't know. I'm going to move it slightly. As soon as I think it's straight, it, it seems not to be. So if I go like that and take it off of what I think is straight, it might actually work. Okay, that does seem to be what. Yes, perfect, excellent. Right, now it will work. That is going to head south. That's going to head down that way. That means that this one can keep doing this area here. And then this guy here, he can keep working there. But I'm wanting to bring him over. And we're going to go around this farm, actually. I think that's what we're going to do. So let's go to that one. And just press H there a moment. I'm going to manually just cut across the bottom of this field. And I'm not going to use the AI vehicle extension for this. I'm just going to do it myself. We've got one that has finished. So let's just go and check that one a minute. Uh, it's that one. Oh, you have finished. I'm impressed. You haven't just got confused and confuddled. You've actually finished. Now, we've got a couple of little patches here. I'm not worried about those. We can go to that one or we could go through here and we could do this bit down here. I think you can get through the map right there. Uh, over here, actually. We're going to leave the little patch up in the corner and we're going to go over this to this bit. Mainly because I would like to try to get as much done for this and the next episode, like I said. So that we can get going with the bailing the end of this week, which would be the final episode for this map. That would be absolutely fantastic. Now, a lot of people have been saying, can I please upload this map so that you can download it? I'll do what I normally do and I will put the save game file on FSUK. Um, it won't include any of the mods, okay? Don't even bother asking. These are not my mods. These are not anything that I have created. I haven't released these mods. Um, it's nothing to do with me whatsoever. I will not be giving these mods out to anybody. They are for my own use on this map. If you want to do what I've done to these mods, feel free. I did give a brief instructional video quite a while back on how to do some of the changes to these mods. And there are various tutorials and stuff available so that you can go and do that. So that's fine. You, you're quite welcome to go and do that. It's just don't release them publicly when you've made those changes. Because they're not your mods, right? That's plagiarism. It's stealing. Um, and regardless of whether or not the community is for free, it's still actually classed as stealing. Um, and so, yeah, I, I, I will have no part in it. And I'm not going to allow my channel to become associated with those practices either. Um... I will, so I'm just not going to release them. What I will do, though, is I think I could, I've got, well, there is like the base machinery on the map anyway, so I could just sort of leave those on there, um, and I'll remove anything that is mod, any, any mods. If I just take out all of the mods, uh, you should be pretty good to go then, I think. Right, that one there isn't doing anything. This one is working away on this field with small header. That one's on a spore header, and then this one here is doing his really short work all the way across. So it's leaving. I, I want that one to keep going. I want it to keep doing that. It's going to work its way on really, really short runs all the way up through there. It's going to take a while. That one's nearly done. 
This one here is actually doing a fantastic job working its way through there. Once this one here is done, I'm going to get it a bigger header and I'm going to stuff it into that field there, I think. Um, but this one over here, look at that. That is quite impressive, actually, the amount of straw that that one has already done. We might get, I mean, I think I would slow it down if I was to run something like this in broad acres, have like a, a 20 million litre tank, but um, let it just run slowly and see how long it takes to harvest one of the big fields. I think that could be really good fun to watch. Well, not necessarily, yeah, I'll take that back. Not good fun to watch. I think that could be good fun to like keep up to date with as we go through the series. Just sitting there watching it combine the biggest field. No, that's not going to be fun to watch. That's just going to be painful to watch. That's, that's absolutely 100% painful to watch. Um, right, that one is working quite nicely up the, the long runs on there. And where's this one? Oh, I see. That one's working on there. That's doing a great job. It's nearly done. And that's going to end up, I think, sort of working down through those bits there as well. That's fine. This one here is going to work down through there. We've got that one working the long run. So this one here I'm going to take and I'm going to do a run along there and up there round. And we're going to go round the pigs a couple of times. And we're going to come up here and we're going to start heading in around the yard and see what we can do there. Because I want to do, before we go, I definitely want to do the combining in the actual yard. Because one of them is in the yard right here we go now there's one actually it's a little bit more than one width all the way down next to that field so we'll probably have to send something down there at some point um even though it, it did move it changed itself over it's still actually more than a width there it could have gone all the way to the southern side of the map right helper e has completed their task who is helper e it's not there that's helper E. That, why have you completed your task? Surely that's not too steep for you to turn around. Apparently it is. Apparently that is just too much for it to cope with. You wouldn't have thought that, really, would you? You would not have thought that that was too steep for it to be able to turn around and go. Because it did line itself. It does do that sometimes. The, the hired help does do some very peculiar things at times. Let's go back over to this one and try this again. I am actually going to combine this field through here. Let's get a bit of a run up and jump the combine again while it's still cutting. That's brilliant. I love the way that it does that. I'm starting to run out of time. Um, did I actually say I'm not asking? Yeah, I did. I said I'm not asking a question this week. We're going to wait until we get to um, Australia and then we will see about questions and uh, stuff like that once we get there. Just wing around that corner like that and head up this side. It won't take long to do this little patch here either. I reckon that by the time we finish tomorrow, we will have done just about all of the combining. We'll be manually going round the farm tomorrow just to sort of check that out, see how that's coming on, and then that's going to be that's going to be most of the harvest done. So then we can we can have our play around with balers because that's kind of the thing that we want to do. And most of you said the Heston baler, so I'm going to try altering the width of the baler. And I'm going to try altering the capacity of the baler. I'm going to sort of do a couple of different versions of it. Um, and we're going to have a play around with the several different versions that I come up with. And sort of see how they compare to each other and what they do. I don't expect a huge amount. Um, and also, I'm going to have the save game released. If, uh, for, if Saturday is our final episode, um, the save game that I release will be from the last day of the combining and not with the baling because all those extra bales that I'm planning to put on the map are go I'm going to do it until we've choked our frame rate right down to one. Now, basically, I'm going to set out to crash the game. I'm going to set out to crash our game, our save game here so that it becomes unplayable. That's, that's kind of the idea. Oh, no, hopefully, I'll be able to like um, keep the, the video. We'll be able to record properly on it. Um, I'm hoping so. I'm, I'm really hoping so. It could be quite entertaining um, crashing the game with the bales. I, I, I really am looking quite looking forward to doing that. But anyway, I have run out of time now. So if you enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.